an interesting way to start off a new episode here. We're down in Sagami area today. This is a Saturday of Tokyo Auto Salon. And we decided to actually not go to the show today because there was something pretty really cool happening with the guys from Low Brain. They're putting on a really cool show uh, with Final Bout and uh, we decided to head out and uh, help them set up here at Grass Factory, which is a photography studio um, about an hour outside of Tokyo. And uh, the cars are beginning to arrive and I think it's gonna be an awesome day. It's gonna progress into a convoy drive into Tokyo and then we'll hit up Liberty Walk in Harajuku because they're doing a um, beginning of year party. And then we're probably gonna head up to uh, Shibuya uh, to check out the Saratroi meetup uh, like we did last year and basically have a lot of fun because it is Tokyo Auto Salon weekend and that's what you do. You do car stuff. I got my son Luca with me today. So uh, fun for the family I guess. Dream transporter here. So sick. Two levels. And then it tilts to get the right height for unloading. Self-made clearance. A bit of Casey action. Cool cars keep rolling in. All right, so doors have been opened. And you can go inside. This is a really cool venue. This is a studio where they get take pictures, film movies, TV shows, whatever. And it's gonna be housing about 40 cars today. So hopefully the rain stops and we can use the space outside as well. But uh, see how we go. So Luca's already found the heater. Are you nice and warm? Yeah. This car is catching on the door latch. There you go, safe. Dude, your steering wheel is so tiny. <laughs> oh, perfect. The rain just came to get the cars wet before we brought them in. And now it's stopped raining. Back to clear skies. This sick. Uh, wagon that was at the underground meet yesterday which I didn't end up filming guys I'm sorry about that it was just too dark too dark and too packed um, we just couldn't do it but this is absolutely sick more cars arriving I think it's going to be a really cool representation of what grassroots drifting is all about here in Japan. A good mix of, uh, you know, pro cars and well-used street cars. So I think it's going to be pretty epic. And uh, as I just walked away, literally five more cars arrived. So it's really coming together now. Really nice, super white S14. That is one pure white, alpine white type color and sick equips and a JZX 110 and massive exhaust. All right, so went to get a spot of lunch and came back to half of the show being put together already. Gotta say, I really dig the location. Super cool. Well, the 
pull the bonnet off this no sense pro car built sr top mounted turbo cycle fenders and thoroughly well used really sweet s13 on uras aero hopefully we can take a look at the engine bay on this 180 so we're gonna start off with this really sick s15 sylvia uh, Rob's car sitting on the uh, Model 5s, ABS's. It's got this really sick 326 power trunk wing. Probably see it a little bit better here. Yeah, just a really sweet drift street setup. Moving on to this white S14 we saw outside before. Insane amount of lips on the equips, just so nicely laid out, wider front and rear fenders. And of course, over to this other white S15 here, again showing off the lip game, on point. Another S15 with curious Itasha bonnet. And then the two pro cars here. Moving over to this JZX100 with an insane collection of battle magazines laid out in front all the way from 2000. Oh wait, there go way back. 1999, 2000, 2001. Carboy VHS tapes, option VHS tapes. Incredible selection of old school Japanese media. JZX 110. Sick S13. Awesome oh, SSRs. And then Coop and Yohei's Treno. My son Luca's already stolen some pizza. <laughs> Look at this guy, pizza monster. And then there's a few cars outside as well. Unfortunately, the rain has come, but it's okay. Okay, thankfully, the weather is helping us out yet again. It's cleared up, so we can actually come out and take a closer look at these sick cars, starting with this awesome JZX that's come up all the way from Nagoya. There's one sister car next to it. Sick setup, single. Electric throttle. This is the Silky House 180 we saw uh, up in Gunsai a couple of months back for uh, the hardcore event. Alec and Jake have moved their cars here, so good to see these cars on display. Of course, this is uh, Jake's S13 that he's brought in from Australia on a car day, so he's able to keep it here for a year and drive it. And it cruises around in Australian plates. Um, he was the guy that drifted at Daigo's compound the other day when we went there with Larry. And I think that's pretty much it for the uh, final bout here for me. I'm going to head back to Tokyo, pick up the GTR and uh, head to Harajuku to uh, the Liberty Walk party. So I'm going to get going. So I'm just driving back to Tokyo from the final bout. Meet the, the guys from uh, Low Brain put on. And it's snowing really, really heavily. I cannot believe the amount of snow that's coming down here in Tokyo, just exiting here at Yoga. Hopefully the meet continues because this is getting pretty heavy. All right, so fast forward a couple of hours and I am down here in Harajuku. You can see there's a Liberty Walk Huracan behind me. So we are actually heading to Liberty's Harajuku uh, clothing shop, which is just up here on the right. And I think they maybe have gotten some permission to park some cars out there. We'll go and check out uh, what's going on. I can already hear a bit of commotion and there are already crowds forming. So let's have a look. Yeah, they got a couple of cars out here. Two GTRs and a Supra. Oh, this is sick. Glad they got the permission to do this. Makes it far more interesting. No black. 34 over here, and of course, uh, Supra right here. We'll take a look at the actual shop itself. 
which is absolutely packed. Man, Liberty Walk really has done branding very well. This shop is very, very cool. Man, I love this wall with all their little die casts. It's like all their demo cars done in a ton of different liveries. You know, up here on the stairs, there's a bunch of uh, magazine printouts of their feature cars. I remember this one. One of my favorite cars that Katosan built is Ken Mary project. Always the sickest one for me. So I think I'm gonna get out of here now and head to the other meet that's happening in Shibuya today. And oh my God, there's even more cars arriving. That Huracan that was just where I parked a second ago has moved up here. Crazy setup happening in the middle of Harajuku, guys. I don't know how Kato-san does this, but he does and he kills it every time. Absolutely amazing. I thought this was going to be impossible for Kato-san to do something like this, but literally took over Harajuku with a bunch of his cars. engine note here and look what just rocked up absolutely crazy man Liberty Walk really knows how to shut down an entire city upsetting Tokyo and at the same time upsetting the purists 355 with over fenders all right, we're actually heading down to the after party. Uh, got Luca here with my jacket because he's freezing. And grab a little bit of food and then head to uh, the other underground meeting that's going on tonight, just to end up the night. Okay, so we finally made it to the last location here in Shibuya. Uh, one entrance got closed, so we had to come in through another side. And some serious heat is rolling in. Wow, a Plymouth drag car. <laughs> oh, it's on Crazy. So I guess it's already happening. I'm gonna walk around. It's a really big uh, car park here in Shibuya. So uh, there's multiple levels to it, but uh, we'll probably kick it here for a while. Uh, by the entrance and see some cars roll in. Damn. TCP magic, hell yeah. That's how you do an FD. Mugen Civic Type R. Oh man. Did I just get here at the very perfect moment or what? So sick. Corona Mark II. The Cresta. Mark II wagon. Sick S15 with a touch of devil camber on you can with pointing wheels hell yeah auto gallery yokohama tuned i know for a fact that that thing has 800 horsepower all right so we came down one level i think we're on b2 and there's some pretty sick cars here already you saw this uh 
Was it yesterday? The days are getting so long. I'm forgetting what I've seen and where. Damn, that is clean. Yeah, I guess this is where the commotion is. Damn, this is busier than expected. Again, it's like we're not even in Japan here. Look at this. Oh my god. This is not gonna last long. This is gonna get locked down. So Mr. Yip here actually went to Nismo today and he picked me up a set of smoked indicators. I'm actually uh, I've actually attached one tape. So this is gonna be very helpful to get me on my way. So it's very funny because the guy said Omori factory and I will try to figure out using your photos which model your car was. Right. So this is but there's, there's only one, right? No, there's a V-spec and a V-spec. Yeah. We are going to get shut down in about 10 minutes, I reckon. Two seconds. Yeah. The, uh, the so V-spec and the V-spec 2 are different. Why? Really? I never knew that. Yeah. I wonder what's different. I have no idea. One thing to research. There you go. Well, it says there until uh, 2000, August 2000. Well, thank you, sir. No problem. Nice uh, JZX 100 rolling in. I just cannot believe this drag car has come to this meet. It's literally shaking the entire parking area. happening here. Sick and Shabra. Absolutely on point. Color match wheels with the engine cover. Really well done. Civic Type R, M3, couple of Hachirokus, another Rolls Royce. Wide body MRS. Wow, look at this. Damn! We'll take a look at this from the back. GT3. This is amazing, man. GT300. What what uh, what spec is this? Like, what's the arrow? So, MRS wide bodies. They're all based on the GT. Well, some of them are based on the real uh, JGTC uh, cars back in like early 2009. Right. This is the wet sport, and this is one of 100. Wow! Amazing. What's going on under here? Uh, stock exhaust. Stock exhaust. <laughs> I thought you had it like ceramic coated or something. Stock, like. stock exhaust because the other one's on the attack bar. So. Amazing. That's insane. A bit of a stripped out rear end there. It's all, it's all for the looks. <laughs> the fast car is at back at home. <laughs> Dude, that is impressive. R34 next to it. That looks painful. Ouch. Oh my god. Sick 180 and a damn low rider. An F-150 Raptor. A DC2 four-door taxi. A Ferrari Roma. A Bentley. Like, what is going on here? The mix is insane. And just to spice it up even more, a dumped Hilux truck. What up, Dino? What's up, man? What do you think, Luca? GR86. Pleasantly quiet compared to that drag car. All the way from Mito in Ibaraki. Well, could this be a NUR? M spec NUR? Let's take a look. Oh, leather seats. There it is. So according to the car that was on sale at Tokyo-san, this car would be worth 120 million yen. 
and boom, NSX. Oh my god, what is hiding here? That is sick. Sick super right here with a big single. Well, you know, I have traction. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't look like you have much with this turbo. <laughs> Pretty sick, C37s, big board Warner. Is this stroked? Stock engine? Nice. The epic selection of rides continues. Chaser there. A white plated 190, wow. From Yamaguchi. White plate from Yamaguchi is the first for me. Sick. Dream S15 with GP Sports Aero. The funniest thing is, there's actually a police patrol electric mini Delica here. This is hilarious. Actually, two of them. <laughs> so I wonder what they're gonna say when they come back and pick up their charged patrol cars. S spotted this Ducati Panigale V2 and the bike parking here. Gotta show this. Okay, so there's a few more cars arriving. Good timing. CRX, sorry, CRZ parking swiftly next to another green one. And here we have an LC Lexus convertible. Another LC Lexus convertible. An Acura. Sick old school G Wagon. Look at this thing. This is sick. Pupra. Good to see an RX8. And I think that's it. We've got to go over to this mess over here. This is insanity. I cannot believe how many people there are here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Look at this. It's insane. This poor Nissan Cube got stuck in here. People are probably wondering what the hell is going on. Okay, so I came back to that 180, and then I also noticed this Infinity um, Coupe, Q50 Coupe was here. Of course, this car was never imported into Japan, so this is a parallel import, slammed down on some Yokohama GTs. Right next to that insane 180. I wonder what kit this is. Another lineup of cars we haven't seen yet. Much Honda love happening. And check this out, two R34s. Now does this bring back memories? Still glad I unwrapped mine though, but these are sick. I think one of these is the one that Moon Tech built, let me see. I did see one of these at ours meeting, and I think it was this one here. GR Yaris with OZ wheels. The 34 here, a pair of them. So two GTTs, one has been given the GTR touch with the addition of some additional girth here. This one's on R34 GTR wheels. A couple of poopers over here. I'm glad I found this uh, lineup. Fitment on point. Sick work wheels. I love the bronze lip against the bronze centers. Interesting uh, lip spoiler here. This one's done it the other way, gone a bit crazier. Again, work wheels with a bronze barrel. We got something else coming in. OK, 
Okay, spotted this Honda today. Looks like it's ready to go rallying. It's got the roof rack, spare tire up there. White steelies, 13 inch, 155 section tires. Snow tires, may I point out. Some uh, USDM coming in. Sick. E36. I love how he's gone for that anniversary logo. Everybody's running these in Japan. Nice S15 on T37. Uh, again, you know, pointing out here that simplicity always never fails. Okay, so here's Yip's K11 March Impel. He's uh, rented this thing and it's possibly one of the rarest cars I've seen. I mean, I remember um, these cars being built back in the day, but I don't think I've even ever seen one. And uh, as you remember, we saw it when he showed up to Fat Five Racing the other day when we were at Daigo's place with Larry and he's been driving it since. Uh, by the way, let's ask him. Hey, Yip, how's the Impul March? Great. Yeah, you like it? It's slow, but fun. I he's lying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pedal to the floor every single and that's uh, the best like so what are we looking at here this is a supra that's pretending to be an lfa i'm not really sure who makes this bumper that's quite interesting i've seen uh lfa uh inspired bumpers on hachirokus uh, but never on a supra okay so i found where that uh gr yaris with the oz wheels came to park tight space where we can get a little glimpse of the wheels. I would say that would be wheel choice number one for me for this car. Check out this 70 series Supra with a wide body conversion. This is beautiful. I love the choice of color as well. There's even a magazine feature. Oh man, look at this engine bay. It's sweet. Over here I found Soki-san's Diablo with over fenders. Always a showstopper, this thing. Meticulously kept. It's always shiny. Pika Pika, as we say in Japanese. Lamborghini Diablo VT with a very loud exhaust. Stretch tires. Nice. I love it how he just leaves it open. You can steal it. Should we go for a ride? Shibuya drift with the Lamborghini. All right, Soki-san is leaving, heading out. Glad we get to see this and hear it. Soki has gone for the dramatic exit, making sure he passes everybody. <laughs> Okie dokie, so I'm gonna end today's vlog here. It's been a very long and exciting day, filled up with cars, all sorts of stuff. And I'm gonna head back home because tomorrow we are back at Tokyo Auto Salon for the final day. Uh, a lot of filming going on, so hope you enjoyed it. Check back soon. We got TAS coverage dropping next, so make sure you check that out. Okay.